Ever feel like you're juggling bills and budgeting like a pro, but still not seeing the savings you hoped for? If so, meet Peter, an everyday guy just like you who's been on a quest to improve his financial situation, but sadly keeps hitting roadblocks due to overspending. Guys, there's so much more to being frugal than just spending less money. It demands a lifestyle committed to minimizing waste, extending the lifespan of belongings, and appreciating life's joys that aren't attached to a cost. But the good thing, however, is that it's way easier to accomplish than you might think. So if you're like Peter, who's on a mission to crack the code to a more frugal lifestyle in 2024 and beyond, you might find it beneficial to explore some advice that we have discovered in a discussion on Reddit. One of the initiated conversations requested participants contribute their top frugal strategies for the upcoming year, attracting more than 500 responses. But we filtered through each and every response to make up the ultimate list of the top 22 frugal habits, so you don't have to. Number 1. Annual Insurance Review Have you ever stopped to consider how much you're truly spending on insurance every year? Spoiler alert, it's probably more than you think. Guys, insurance is cool and actually a necessity that we all have to accommodate. But the thing is that many Americans spend way more than they should on it. So that's why one savvy forum participant shared their secret to saving big bucks. A review of their insurance policies annually, especially at the start of the year. You see, by ignoring the trap of loyalties and taking your sweet time to compare different providers and policies, you and Peter can actually slash hundreds of dollars off premiums by switching to a new company. Imagine what you could do with, say, an extra $200 in your pocket. Taking control of your finances by making annual insurance reviews is a simple yet powerful way to cut costs and keep more money in your own wallet. Number 2. Eating Down Your Pantry and Freezer Guys, imagine this scenario for a second. You come home after a long day of work, too tired to head out to the market. Then you suddenly remembered. Your pantry and freezer house a treasure trove of meals, just waiting to be enjoyed. Wouldn't that save you several hundred dollars when ordering treats? So, why do we often overlook these hidden gems? Peter, like many of us, knows the feeling of having ingredients stockpiled but not knowing what to do with them. But if he can just keep a scraps bag in the freezer that contains a collection of onion skins, carrot peels, herb remnants, and more, perfect for making a flavorful broth, he can effortlessly transform these scraps into a dozen cups of delicious homemade broth. With a little creativity and resourcefulness, Peter can now save more. And you can too if you follow this tip. Number 3. Weekly Shopping Routine Following that trend, though, did you know that according to recent research, the average American spends around $412 per month on groceries, which amounts to 68% of his monthly budget? Talk about a gaping hole. Guys, shopping for groceries is good and all, but a well-oiled shopping routine can save you both time and money. Have you ever tried shopping for groceries on only one day of the week? It's surprisingly a simple yet effective system of frugality. By giving it a try, Peter found that by delaying purchases until Wednesdays, for instance, he often realized he didn't actually need or want the item anymore. This disciplined approach not only prevents impulse buys, but also streamlines the shopping process and reduces unnecessary trips to the store. Number 4. Mastering Store Rewards And now that we're talking about stores, what if we told you that there's a secret way to perfect store rewards? In our research, we found a pretty interesting take from a forum participant who shared his strategy of becoming an expert at using reward systems. Curious about it? Take Peter as an example. By shopping at Safeway and Costco, for instance, with the occasional trip to Trader Joe's for wine and snacks, he can save a whole lot of money. Listen, so he's been using the Safeway app for years, which provides personalized deals on items he regularly purchases, right? While Safeway may not always have the lowest prices, Peter finds that with the app deals, he'll be able to get close to the prices offered by cheaper stores. By dedicating himself to a single store and leveraging its rewards program, Peter shows us how to maximize savings without sacrificing convenience. Number 5. Be wary of social media. Moving on, point number 5 may sound like a big reach, but believe it when we say it that it can make a world of difference. Do you remember when Dave Ramsey said this? 
A lot of you spend a lot of money to impress people you will never meet with your car and then scratching your head and wondering why your kid's college fund didn't fund. Well, you're driving it. Well, what if we told you that the world of social media is impacting those bad spending habits? By logging onto Instagram every day and seeing his favorite celebrities buy shiny Rolexes and luxury cars, Peter's inevitably going to get sucked into the materialistic world of overconsumption. And guess what? He has no idea. Instead of following people who promote materialism and excessive spending, take a proactive approach to following those who encourage resourcefulness, like Dave Ramsey. Like Peter, you're subconsciously going to have your own financial habits skewed back to frugality. And make no mistake, the latter is the only way you can take control of your life. Number six is be content. Speaking of controlling your life, one of our favorite quotes from Dave Ramsey is that you must gain control of your money or the lack of it will forever control you. Finding joy and satisfaction in what you already have is a game changer in the world of frugality. A forum participant highlighted the satisfaction of using and repurposing existing belongings as an alternative to recreational shopping, which has yielded truly rewarding results. Inspired by this perspective, Peter decided to embrace a similar mindset. Instead of constantly seeking new purchases, he's learning to appreciate and repurpose what he already owns. Take, for example, his four-year-old car or mobile device. Instead of replacing them, Peter took the time to properly maintain them, finding immense satisfaction in the process. By shifting our focus from acquiring more to making the most of what we have, we can all not only save money, but also cultivate a sense of contentment and resourcefulness. Always remember this quote from Dave Ramsey, Content people may not have the best of everything, but they make the best of everything. Number 7. Mark Down Racks at the Grocery Store Do you remember what we said about the average American spending 60% of his income on groceries? If you're just like that, here's a tip that's going to blow your mind. Did you know that the markdown racks at grocery stores are in fact hidden gems? You can find discounted items like cereal, bread, and vegetables that are perfect for prepping and freezing. The key? Going early in the morning when grocery staff typically mark down items nearing their expiration date. Peter, intrigued by this idea, decided to give it a try. He discovered that meat nearing its expiration date is often marked down significantly. By taking advantage of these markdowns, Peter not only saves money, but also reduces food waste by freezing items for later use. Number 8. Buying Bulk Essentials Guys, have you ever found the perfect pair of shoes or clothing item that ticks all the boxes? It's affordable, it's comfortable, and durable. Well, one frugal aficionado shared a genius strategy for making the most of the discovery that buying essentials in bulk was far cheaper. And you know that Peter's going to give it a try. The end result, though? Truly sensational. By purchasing these items in bulk, not only does Peter save money on each item, but he also saves valuable time that would otherwise be spent shopping for replacements. It's a win-win situation where he gets to enjoy your favorite items while cutting costs and eliminating the hassle of frequent shopping trips. Number 9. DIY Have you ever had a faulty faucet or electrical appliance that the repair guy fixed in less than 3 minutes? Admit it, you felt pretty silly. Like many Americans, Peter spends hundreds of dollars in oil changes, home repairs, and much more because he never knew that he could fix most of them by himself. In our Reddit research, we found that so many people acknowledge YouTube as their lifesaver, and for good reason. The platform provides invaluable free tutorials that can teach you how to repair a variety of appliances, from furnaces to dishwashers. So, Peter, inspired by this resourceful approach, decided to roll up his sleeves and give it a shot. Armed with online tutorials, he successfully tackled repairs on his furnace, AC, dishwasher, oven, washer, dryer, and even his car. By mastering the art of DIY repairs, you won't just be saving hundreds or thousands of dollars, you'll also gain a sense of accomplishment and independence. It's a win-win. Number 10. Your local library is a treasure. Now, it hurts so much to say this, but sadly, physical libraries are becoming non-existent. Just think about it. When was the last time you visited your local library? And the sad part of it is that waiting for you at your local library is a treasure trove of free books, DVDs, video games, and more. But that's just the beginning. 
From free programs and events to unconventional items you can check out, the world can be your oyster. By stumbling upon unique items like car check engine code readers, bubble kits, binoculars, and telescopes, you can save loads while keeping your mind sharp and enriched. Number 11 is Have a No Spend Month. And unironically, it's a page taken from the words of Dave Ramsey, who suggests that if you're aiming to pay off debt or stash away some cash, you've got to treat every month like a no-spend month where you stick to spending only on essentials and trim out all the unnecessary stuff. But while you'd be amazed at how much you can sock away at in just 30 days, Ramsey also advises setting clear boundaries from day one on what you will and won't purchase, so you will always stay on track. Number 12. Savvy Grocery Shopping When you do have to spend, however, make sure you act your wage, like Dave Ramsey always says, and maximize your savings by basing your grocery list around weekly specials, resulting in a diverse array of ingredients for their meals. Rather than sticking to the same products, our frugal pal Peter decides to opt for whatever is on sale, ensuring consistent savings regardless of price fluctuations to the tune of several hundred dollars in the long run. But hey, do you want to know what we love the most about this approach? By combining sale items with staples from their freezer, pantry, fridge, and garden, you and Peter will still be able to create flavorful dishes without breaking the bank. Number 13, try cooking legumes. If you have found the most aforementioned tips to be a game changer, wait until you've found out what we've got next for you. A couple of the participants in the forum shared their insight into the cost-effective benefits of incorporating legumes into their diet as an alternative to meat, and boy was it a difference. You see, they decided to experiment with legumes like beans and chickpeas in their own cooking, and the end result was truly extraordinary. In only a few months, they ended up saving loads of money that they'd have used on meat or fish. But here's the icing on the cake. Apart from being a cheaper alternative to meat, legumes also have a lot of nutrients, including proteins and carbohydrates, both of which are essential to the body. Number 14. Embrace the convenience of cookware. But while you can elevate your culinary game with legumes, did you know that you can also save money on dining out by investing in essential kitchen appliances? We recommend adding a rice cooker, slow cooker, or pressure cooker to your kitchen arsenal. Make no mistake, these versatile appliances make meal preparation a breeze, saving you time and money in the long run. With a rice cooker, you can effortlessly whip out perfect batches of rice every time, eliminating the need for takeout. Similarly, a pressure cooker allows you to cook flavorful meals with minimal effort, further reducing the temptation to dine out purely for convenience. Number 15. Thrifty Appliance Shopping but let's take a step back from groceries and meals by diving into the world of thrifty appliance shopping. Yet another game changer for your wallet. Littered all around you are thrift shops with high quality appliances, like air fryers and slow cookers, just for a fraction of the price. In fact, you can even find a brand new air fryer still in the original box for a ridiculously low price of $5. By embracing thrifty appliance shopping, you and Peter wouldn't only save lots of money, but also contribute to reducing waste by giving pre-loved items a new home. So yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Number 16. Embrace thrifted cloth alternatives. But don't just stop at thrifted appliances. You can also take things a step further by getting thrifted clothing alternatives as a budget-friendly and sustainable choice for your household needs. One frugal enthusiast shared their money-saving tip of purchasing washcloths or rags from thrift stores instead of buying new paper towels. So, Peter, intrigued by this simple yet effective way to stretch his budget, decided to explore thrift stores for cloth alternatives. He found that investing in gently used washcloths or repurposing old t-shirts and towels not only saved him money, but also reduced waste, making our world better. Again, isn't that a win-win? Number 17. Optimize your cable and cell plans. But while you're on that, don't forget to check in with your cable and cellular providers to ensure you're getting the best bang for your buck. Dave Ramsey in particular has echoed this from time to time. He suggests seeing how much you can save if you switch providers. Always contact your provider to get an idea of their current rates 
and if you're not satisfied with them, don't hesitate to explore other options. Switching to a competitor for a lower price can often yield significant savings, especially once introductory pricing ends. And you can take things up a notch by leveraging introductory offers by switching accounts to a spouse's or roommate's name to qualify as a new customer and access discounted rates, therefore maximizing savings on essential services without sacrificing quality. Number 18. Treat yourself without breaking the bank. Admit it, we all enjoy the occasional spoil-yourself days. Peter, just like most Americans, often celebrates milestones by rewarding themselves with a nice watch, a car, or something as little as a luxury treat. However, all of these things can significantly drain your wallet. And here's the thing, they don't have to. From local discount coupon books to freebies or even birthday offers, there are plenty of ways to satisfy your cravings without splurging. Dave Ramsey always said that fun can be bought with money, but happiness cannot. So if you're inspired by this mindset, like Peter, always explore various discount options in your area. For instance, Peter discovered discounts through fast food apps and special promotions like two-for-one deals at his local burger joint. Now he and his family can enjoy their favorite indulgences guilt-free, knowing they're getting the best bang for their buck. Number 19. Capitalize on Amazon Returned Items what if we told you that you've missed out on a lot if you've never discovered the joy of purchasing returned items on Amazon and unlocking significant savings? With savings up to 60% off retail prices, it's a no-brainer to take advantage of these discounted treasures. One satisfied shopper on Reddit shared his success story of snagging high-quality products at a fraction of the original price. From a Coleman pop-up cabin tent to a vacuum cleaner, he was able to score impressive deals on items that were returned but not used. As a bonus tip, you might even want to consider browsing Amazon Warehouse and Amazon Outlet for even more discounted options, including overstocked items. Number 20. Stock up on convenient home options. Lest we forget, did you know that, with a variety of options like orange chicken, chicken teriyaki, Indian food, and chicken wontons, Trader Joe's offers a tempting array of quick and delicious meals? Now, we know what you're thinking. These options may be slightly pricier than homemade alternatives, so getting them is a bit counterintuitive, right? Well, not quite. The array of flavors and ease of preparation make them a go-to choice during moments when you're hungry. So, by stocking up on convenient home options like those found at Trader Joe's, you can indulge your fast food cravings without sacrificing taste or breaking the bank. Number 21. Practice procrastination for smart shopping. But again, you have to remember, the art of procrastination is always the key to shopping smarter. By doing something as simple as asking himself, Can I buy this later? Peter is giving himself a moment to reflect, which certainly reduces the likelihood of succumbing to impulse purchases. Guys, by following this smarter shopping principle, you will give yourself the opportunity to shop around and find the one item that truly solves the problem at hand, rather than accumulate in a graveyard of ineffective purchases. So never feel afraid of taking your time, weighing your options, and making informed decisions to ensure that every purchase serves its purpose and contributes to your overall satisfaction. You might just be saving yourself from a big mistake. Number 22. Find a frugal partner for financial success. The ultimate key to frugality, especially in the long run, is finding a partner who shares your financial goals and mindset. Whenever you align your budgeting approach with theirs, you'll be able to scrutinize expenses and make decisions together that prioritize both of your financial well-being. From questioning the necessity of every purchase to evaluating the need for additional expenses like a second car, having a frugal partner by your side can make all the difference in achieving financial success. So whether you're navigating the dating scene or already in a relationship, never forget the importance of finding a partner who shares your penny-pinching aspirations.